got uh, some top fell runners playing the role of wolves so and um, so they're very fast as you know and uh, we were hoping they're going to be really difficult to catch um, we're going to re be reintroducing a pack of wolves into the southern lakes on friday the 7th um, and we're going to publish tracking data from the radio collars and that goes live at 7 a.m on friday morning so people will be able to go to wolves.live and see a map which plots the location of the wolves and the aim of the game is to get out, use that map to track the wolves, take a photograph and submit it to the game. One little, one little uh, complexity is that in order to see the latest location of the wolves, you need to tell them where you are. You need to tell the game where you are. So you need to share your location with the game. Uh, you can submit the photograph to the game either by using a form on the game website or using Twitter, um, just posting a a tweet with that, uh, with the image with the hashtag Walls Live, or you can post the image to our Facebook page, uh, Walls Live. This is a project that Simon and I have been working on this year. It's a project that tries to help people reimagine this landscape that we're in in the Southern Lakes um, and recognise it is ever changing um, in terms of the ecology and actually the way it looks. Um, and we're doing that through. Uh, reimagining it as a place where it once had wolves. Initially inspired actually by a local legend uh, which um, which says that the last wolf of England was killed on a place called Humphrey Head or Morecambe Bay um, and that's been written into written up over history in different ways. On Sunday there's a there's a there's a I think there might be I think there's a wolf there's a run into Kendall yeah. so um, yeah. There's an opportunity for people to join the pack, become one of, and one of the wolf pack members, um, when when the wolves arrive. That's the ultimate. the The only location we'll give away is Kendall at the end. With, um, people can meet up. I think there's a meeting at 12 in Kendall. It's on the Lakes Live program, and you can um, make some wolf ears, and um, do a short run around the town to the end point and join the wolves. So what we hope is that people come out and participate in this and, and really think about the way this landscape's changed and, and, and not see it as a static landscape that is, that is now in its wild form, but that through history it's, it's assumed different, uh, different ecologies over the years and also um, think about the history of, of the way man's interacted with that.